Hi there miss, I couldn't help but notice you seem bored, may I propose a challenge? I'm sorry, do I know you sir? Oh so sorry young lady, my name is Paolo Frere. That's alright Mr Frere, I'm Lady Liz. What challenge do you propose? Well miss, I am an educational philosopher and I was born and raised in Brazil during a time of military dictatorship and rapid industrialization. Cities boomed while rural areas remained poverty-stricken. I present the challenge of listening to my tale and at the end I will ask you out, I be it you can't say no. You must be crazy. But I'll listen. I continue, the working class struggled along as best they could, many starved to death. IT makes me so sad to think they could have prevented their own deaths. How? Liberal pedagogy. What? The power of education. Oh. Explain. Okay. I worked with a man named Ivan Illich and we agreed that global modernization wrongfully exploits the working class. I was convinced I could empower the marginalized by raising self and social consciousness. I wanted to close the gap between upper and lower class. Really? That is quite a goal. How would you ever do that? I joined the Catholic Action Movement and worked with the Literacy Campaign. We taught common workers literacy by directly connecting it to their economic and political situations. We allowed free speech so students could voice their self-perceptions, stories, or problems, thus allowing the group to construct self-knowledge based on social reality. I encouraged people to identify injustices and work towards changing them. Sweet. Yeah. I believe that a person is incomplete but through raising consciousness self-determination can occur. I do not believe our lives are predetermined but are open to self-definition if we have the courage. Ooh, that sounds so poetic. Thank you. Anyway, schools are never neutral or completely objective and it is the teacher's responsibility to guide students into awareness and grow intellectually instead of just banking information. Wait. What do you mean banking? I mean some teachers expect to deposit information into students' heads where it can be filed away until they are expected to regurgitate the information for a test. Memorizing something doesn't necessarily mean you understand the concept. Oh, that makes sense. Teachers today relate the curriculum to their students' lives to maximize learning and raise social consciousness by using new technologies and teaching methods to guide students into asking the right questions and expanding their knowledge. Exactly. Up-and-coming teachers would do well to incorporate their students' interests and community events into the curriculum, then students would never have to question, when am I ever going to use this in my life? I asked that in every class, how interesting. Are you done? I suppose that about wraps it up, oh I almost forgot. How about we go on that date now? After listening to all that? How about no?